Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Good afternoon. Good? I'm good. Okay, so I need you nice. to turn off every television or radio or whatever you have around, please, because there is a lot of noise. Hay mucho ruido alrededor, por favor. Ni televisores, ni radios, ni nada. Thank you. Okay, I will share with you my screen. Les voy a compartir mi pantalla. ¿Estamos? Yes? You got it? Yes. Okay. So for today's class, we are going to practice with the verb to be, I suppose you remember. So, verb to be in yes. Spanish. Yes. Um, Where is it in Spanish? Where can it be? Yo soy. Mm, okay, yo soy. this is the conjugation. Yeah. Okay. Okay, first to be, remember, in Spanish, ser o estar. Ser o estar. So, as you mentioned, somebody mentioned around. We are using first to be. Or to be as, yo soy, yo soy, tú eres, tú estás, él es, él está, ¿no? So, what will we get? Set o estar. Okay. Which are the general uses of the verb to be? Remember? Yes. I am, I am. Okay, but what is the use? What do you express the use of the verb to be? For example, here you get, I am Frank, I am not happy, I am an architect, my brother is a dentist. What information do you express in the verb to be? Okay. No? Hello. Hello, yes, 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 yes. Tell me. How do we start with the verb to be? How do we start? ¿Qué podemos expresar? Peter, I can hear you. Yeah, I know. Sorry, but there is a lot of noise around. Chicos bellos, por favor, intenten alejarse del ruido porque es que ya está sofocándonos y no nos escuchan. Gente, ni televisores, ni radio alrededor, por favor. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what can we express or what information can we express? Hungry. Yes. Totally <laughs> sure. People. Okay, let's do something. Let's continue again. Okay. Okay, so we got here at Birth of You, which is a different as we said before. We are the uses of the Birth to Be. So the Birth to Be. Okay. To express personal express physical description, place, location, feelings, time, and weather. Um, what is a place? What? Bueno, chicos, para mi mayor comodidad, a todos los silencié porque definitivamente el ruido está terrible. Entonces, si hay que participar, en algún momento los activaré de nuevo. Mientras que doy la explicación, todos están en silencio. Ok. So, let's continue here with the with the sharing, sharing information. So here we got personal information, physical descriptions, places or locations, feelings, which are referring to the emotions, time and weather, okay? So personal information refers, or it is about also to express 
Um, sorry. Let me see here. Oh my gosh. Can you hear it? Okay, so personal information refers to the age, which is ledas, no? Professions, and nationality, right? Um, what else you got? Uh, favorites, right? When you said my favorite color is, my favorite, um, my favorite uh, food is, right? So different uh, favorites. That is about personal information. Okay. Now, physical descriptions. The physical descriptions refer to the, in that case, the height could be la altura, right? Or you refer about the size, right? El tamaño, the color, the shape, la forma, okay? So physical descriptions depends on different aspects. Will be physical or also for personality, right? So for example, if you want to use um, description, you can say she is tall, right? So you said, um, ella es alta, she is tall, right? Which is the height, la altura. For example, the grapes are purple, right? The purple is a characteristic, so we use the color. Then we use personality. For example, a personality aspect. You say, uh, my students, for example, my students are intelligent, yes? Or you say, for example, oh, my friend, is beautiful, right? So you got different descriptions or characteristics of a person. So not necessarily has to be physical all the time. It has to be different ideas. Now, places or locations, right? The places refers to the, um, the mom, well, the, the specific parts of the city. For example, you have the stadium or you got, for example, the school, the um, supermarket, right? So always refers to the places like that. For example, you said, he is at home, él está en la casa, right? Remember, and I speak to you in Spanish in this case, uh, los lugares, right, locaciones, que hablamos aquí, el verbo to be juega la función del estar, ¿no? Arriba decíamos que era el ser, aquí hablamos del estar, okay? So you said, for example, he is at home. Él está en casa. We are in the school. Nosotros estamos en el colegio, right? They are in the mall. Ellos están en el supermercado, the mall, right? So always we use the verb to be in places referring to the verb estar in that case. Now, feelings, which uh, are similar to the emotions, okay? So you said emotions. Let me right here. So we said emotions. Oh my gosh. So for example, in this case we said, I am tired, right? Estoy cansado, o estoy cansada, I am tired. Or you say here, she is scared. Is scared, remember it is asustada, right? She is scared, está asustada. We are excited. Nosotros estamos emocionados, ¿no? Excited, emocionados. We are excited. So, the feelings, the emotions, we use also the verb to be as estar, ¿no? Yo estoy cansado, estoy asustado, estoy mareado, estoy, right? Always we use verb to be like that. Now, number five refers to the time and the weather, right? El tiempo y el clima, the weather, el clima. So, in that case, we use here... It is Wednesday, or it is March, it is sunny today. If you remember the time, si se acuerdan del tiempo, chicos, hablábamos del it is, ¿no? Cuando hablábamos del, hey, what time is it? No, the time expression. So you said, for example, it is Wednesday, es miércoles, it is March, es marzo, or the weather, the climate conditions, you said, it is sunny today, es soleado. Hoy. Okay, so we are going to participate according to the pictures we got in the uh, small 
part in here. Okay, so I will I will put in here for you. Let me check. Um, come on. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, let me check, let me check. Let me check, because I'm going to activate it from here. Okay, so we are going to check here. Okay, we are going to check here. The pictures, no? We got here. So, the first picture, tell me an example using personal information. No, one example. What is the first picture about? Um, she's singing. Okay, it's a teen. But I've got personal information, my dear. Personal information. We are going to say, for example, Oh. She is single, right? Yes, she is. She is. So in that case, she's singular. She is a singer, right? Ella es una cantante. Remember, he's singer, no? Okay. okay. This is the idea. So, Andres, an example for the second picture. Andrés, ¿qué? ¿Yo? ¿Sí? Ya. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 About the books. Very good. The panda. The Elizabeth. An example of the panda. Excuse me? Give me an example in, in the panda. So physical description, place, whatever. Uh, is um pat? No. For example, if you say eh, el panda is inteligente, for example, but it would be a, a characteristic, no? Yes. He eats. Okay, the panda. Panda is is intelligent. Eh, sí, es como bonito, no sé, entendí. Okay. No sé. You said it's cute, es tiernito, es bonito. Okay. Okay, this is a characteristic of the panda, very good. Okay, next okay. picture. Let's see. Uh, Juan David Corredor. Señora. According to the picture. <laughs> um. Where are we or they? Are they they are doctors. Okay, they are they. doctors, not plural. They are doctors. Okay. Pretty good. Luis, one example about your bananas. One bananas or something about bananas. Luis. Okay, but banana, singular or plural? Plural. Plural, plural right? So in plural, you say they. They? Uh -huh. They are yellow? Okay, they are yellow. They are yellow. You said they are yellow. Okay. 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 Okay.
Cuando hablo en chico, sé un solo objeto es it, ¿no? Solo un. It, it is. It is singular. Ah, una sola banana sería it is. It is real. Pues son varios, lo tomamos como ella. Okay. Sería they. They are real. Okay. Similar, it. Cuando son más de uno, ¿cierto? They. Exactly. Right. Okay. Okay. Question for this part. Any question? No. No questions? No questions. All right. Now let's continue to the other part. Uh, I am sorry. <laughs> El del televisor, no sé quién sea el del televisor, mi amor, vea, yo me tocaría probar uno por otro es el que tiene el televisor prendido al lado. Yes, yes, yes. Va a tocar para que, ¿verdad? Try. Pues sí. chicos, por, por oh. pura, eh, ahora sí, urbanidad, pues callen el televisorcito al lado, por favor. Ok, birth to be. Affirmative, you said, I'm, your, his, she's, it's, we're, your, or there, ¿no? That is referring to the contraction, ¿no? But it's possible to use no contractions, like I am, you are, he is, yes. right? Remember that? Are, uh, okay. The contraction. So this is the contraction, okay. and we can use the general form. So negative contraction, you said I am not, or I'm not, you are it, he is, and she is, and he is, and we are, and you are, and they are. If you got no contraction, you want to use it sin contracción. Sí, ese televisor que cae con... So, for example, say here, I am not. Yes? No contraction. You can use I'm not or I am not. Yes? I am. So both are possible. In the other case, when you said you are it, so you can say you are you not. You are not. Right? That's the other possibility. For singular, he is and she is not. Is not no. We use is not. Is not. Right. It is not. We are he is not, she is not. Right? Depends. She is not. For plurals, we are and you are and they are and similar to are, you are and no? Are not. Right? Uh -huh. You are not. So for example, you said they are not in the field of plural forms. That was Okay? We are not. We are not. Now, in interrogative people, we are going to use the no. opposite. Yes? So for example, you said, am I? Are you? Is he? Is she? Is it? Are we? Are you? Are they? So always the opposite. Y en afirmativa, chicos, es you are, ¿cierto? Y en afirmativa es he is, ¿ok?